Hi, I'm Daniel from Ratings.com. Today we're testing the 2018 Vizio P-Series. It's a great 4K TV for a wide range of usages and offers some small improvements across the board over the 2017 Vizio P-Series. Like last year's model though, the viewing angles are bad so the best picture quality is reserved for those who watch from directly in front. We bought the 65 inch model to test, but it's also available in 55 and 75 inches. We expect these other sizes to offer very similar picture quality, but the number of full array local dimming zones does change between models. We'll speak about the impact of this later. We'll start by going over the design of the TV, and then we'll move on to the picture quality. We'll also look at the motion handling and input lag, and we'll finish by comparing to these other competing models which are currently available. The design of the Vizio P-Series 2018 is very good. It improves upon the 2017 model with significantly narrower borders, and from the front, the TV slightly resembles the Samsung Q6FN QLED. Like other Vizios, the stand of the TV is almost as wide as the TV itself. This does mean it requires a large table, but the wide set stand does feel stable. The location of the inputs and controls is inverted compared to last year's model. The controls are located behind the right hand side of the TV and allow changing between inputs, adjusting the volume and turning the TV on and off. Due to their large size, they are fine to access by feel when placed close to a wall. The inputs are also located behind the right hand side of the TV. They are recessed into the back, which makes them relatively easy to access. There is no cable management, so with many inputs, it can look a bit cluttered. Looking at the TV through a thermal camera, the heat distribution appears uniform. This is due to the full array local dimming. We'll now go over the picture quality. We'll be comparing to currently available TVs, but we do continue to buy and test TVs throughout the year. So for the latest comparison with new models, see the review page which is linked below. The Vizio P-Series has a high native contrast ratio, which is great. This helps to produce deep dark scenes, especially when viewed in a dark room. It is in the same ballpark as other good VA TVs, like the M-Series and the Sony X900F, and much better than IPS TVs like the LG SK8000. The Vizio P-Series has a full array backlight with local dimming. This is great at producing deeper dark scenes. This produces less blooming and has more zones than the Vizio M-Series or X900F. Note though that each size of the P-Series has a different number of local dimming zones, and the 55-inch model has about half as many. As a result, the local dimming is likely a bit worse on this smaller size. The P-Series 2018 has a VA panel with bad viewing angles. When viewed at an angle, the colors degrade rapidly, which is bad for those who have wide seating. For those who regularly watch at an angle, an IPS TV like the LG SK8000 is a better choice as the colors remain more accurate. The reflection handling of the 2018 P-Series is an improvement over the 2017 model and is good enough for most rooms. The semi-gloss finish reduces the intensity of direct reflections. This isn't as good as other competing TVs though, like the Sony X900F, which may be a better pick for a room which gets bright. The 2018 P-Series has a very good SDR peak brightness. The whole screen can reach just over 400 nits, which is good for overcoming glare. The HDR peak brightness is relatively similar, and it can boost the brightness of our HDR real scene test pattern up to about 550 nits, which is decent for creating bright HDR highlights which stand out. The grey uniformity of the Vizio P-Series is decent. The edges are dimmer, and some dirty screen effect is visible, especially when watching sports or gaming. The Sony X900F is a bit more uniform near the center, but still has dark edges. The Vizio P-Series 2018 has a wide color gamut, which is almost identical to the X900F. This helps to produce vivid highlights in HDR and is an improvement over the 2018 M-Series and the LG SK8000. The response time of the 2018 P-Series is extremely fast, so fast-paced motion in sports or video games doesn't have much blur, which is excellent. 
The TV is also able to flicker the backlight to clear up persistence blur even more. It can flicker at 60 Hz to match the signal from most game consoles, which results in an excellent clear image. Unlike most other TVs, it compensates for this PWM flicker by boosting the backlight, so not much brightness is lost. 60 Hz flicker isn't for everyone though, as it is very noticeable and can be uncomfortable. The P-Series 2018 has a very low input lag, which is excellent for gamers. The HDMI 5 port only accepts lower bandwidth signals and doesn't support HDR, but has very low input lag at about 15 milliseconds for 1080p or 4K signals. The other HDMI ports 1 to 4 have a higher input lag at about 27 milliseconds, but this is still great for gamers and feels very responsive. These other ports do accept high bandwidth signals, like 4K 60Hz 444, and also accept HDR for new game consoles, like the Xbox One X. The Vizio P-Series uses the SmartCast interface. It is possible to launch apps directly using the IR remote, using the TV interface, but this feels quite slow and there's no way to download new apps. On the other hand, using a phone or tablet works great and it's possible to cast a wide variety of content directly to the TV. If you're already invested in other smart devices like an Amazon Alexa or Google Home, then this can fit in nicely, but those who prefer a more traditional on-screen interface might find the TV lacking. The sound of the 2018 P-Series is mediocre. It can get quite loud, but lacks bass. It also isn't as good at producing dialogue, so if you care about sound, then an external soundbar is the way to go. So overall, the Vizio P-Series 2018 is a great TV for a wide range of usages. It offers improvements over the 2017 P-Series, like better reflection handling, a wider color gamut, and lower input lag for HDR. Unfortunately, the picture quality degrades when viewed at an angle, and depending on your budget, one of these other TVs may be a better choice. The M-Series 2018 is the step below in Vizio's lineup. It isn't as good as it doesn't have a dedicated low input lag port, and also has worse picture quality in a dark room, as the local dimming isn't as effective. It also lacks a wide color gamut for HDR. If you can afford it, the P-Series is a better choice. The TCL 6 Series is a budget TV with very good performance. It can produce brighter HDR highlights than the Vizio P-Series, but otherwise has slightly worse picture quality due to the worst local dimming. The uniformity is also worse and can vary significantly between units. Overall, the Vizio is a better TV if you can afford it, but the TCL is still a good choice if you want to save the money. The Sony X900F shares many similarities to the Vizio P-Series. The X900F is a more well-rounded TV due to the better reflection handling, which is great for bright rooms. It also has better gray uniformity for sports. For gamers though, the Vizio does have lower input lag. While the Sony is the better TV if you don't mind the price difference, for most people, the cheaper TV is the way to go. IPS TVs like the LG SK8000 have bad picture quality when viewed in a dark room, as the blacks appear grey and blotchy. In a bright room with wide seating though, the image does remain accurate when viewed at an angle. If you've got a bright room with wide seating, then the LG may be a better choice, but for those who watch from directly in front, the Vizio does offer better overall picture quality and performance. So that's it! What do you think of the 2018 Vizio P-Series? Have you bought it? Let us know what you think below. You can check out all of the measurements on our website. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel or become a contributor. Thank you for watching and see you next time.